This is what we're going to look at now, particle instancing using multiple objects as our particles for our emitter. And we're also going to learn how to hide them from the final render. So let's get started. I'm just going to start a new file, new general. And I'm just going to keep the cube here now. Move it, press G and X, move it there. Uh, hold down shift and press A to go to the add menu. You can also access it from here. But shift and A, that's the hotkey for it. Go to mesh and choose, for example, cone. G and X, I'm going to grab it and G and Y, move it there and scale it up slightly by pressing S once and move your mouse. Shift and A, add a mesh, add a monkey head, grab that move it and scale it. All right, then we're going to add our particle emitter. So mesh, plane, scale it up, move it slightly above the camera, like so, and go to the particle properties tab here and press the, press the plus icon to add a new particle settings for it. And if you press the space bar, press play, you can see halos are now being emitted. But we want these guys to be the particles. So we're going to select all of them. And right click here in the outliner and click on new collection. And double click on it and name it instance. All right. And we lost our selection there. So I'm just going to reselect, hold down shift and select all these three and we want these to be underneath the instance collection so I'm going to drag and drop them on the name of the collection so instance they are now within the instance collection and I'm going to choose the plane the emitter go to the render settings for it and choose render as collection then uh, over here you got this empty field. If you click on it, you can choose the collection that's being used as instances. You can choose instance. And if you crank up the scale, you should start seeing the uh, objects from the collection being rendered as the particles. You can turn up scale randomness to make them different sizes. And now I might just want to pause the animation and move this lamp slightly here and then duplicate it by pressing shift and D and move the other lamp over here. And let's see what the camera sees. So I can access it from here, from this camera icon. And then I could just move the camera backwards a bit, I think, by pressing F3. I'm gonna type in fly navigation. And you can see the result is here, choose fly navigation. Now you can move your mouse to turn the camera and you can use your arrow keys to move forwards and backwards and sideways with the camera. So I'm just gonna back it up and view the scene from here. Play the animation again, pause there and let's try and render this. So what we see now is we got the particles being emitted, but we also got our instance object visible here. Actually, I want to change the background color to be black. So I'm going to go here to the world tab and turn the strength down and render that. So now the background is nice and black. Still want to hide these guys though. So I'm going to hit escape and just untick the box here in the outliner for the instance collection. So untick that and render again and boom your instance objects are only visible in the particles now. So that's how you do it.